Hello everyone, welcome back to Maxim Automation. In today's video, we are diving into something really useful for automation testers. That is how to set up and use LAO report with the Ragnarol framework. Whether you are setting this up for the first time or looking to improve your test reporting, this tutorial will walk you through every step. LAO report is a lightweight, flexible and powerful test report framework that can produce beautiful and informative test results. When integrated with Ragnarol, the PDD automation tool, you get rich feature-wise reporting, step logs, and visual data that can help you debug or demonstrate test results effectively. Let's get started by setting up the required dependencies. If you're setting up LEO report for the first time, make sure the LEO command line tool is installed on your machine. I have already shared the installation steps in one of my previous videos. You can find the link of that video in the description below. First, open your automation framework in Visual Studio or your IDE. Then navigate to the Manage New Get Packages section for your project. Now I'm going to search for LEO.Ragnarol. Package. You can see this is the package for LAO.Ragnarol. You can install the latest version. As of now, that's 2.12.1. Avoid version 2.12.0. It had some issues with result generation, so it's better to use the most stable one. Once installed, that's it. You don't need to write any additional integration code. LEO hooks into your test pipeline automatically. If you need to add additional information into your LEO report, then you can explicitly push some logs into the report. But by default, it is going to capture each and every step of your PTD file. Now let's run a sample test to see how LEO generates the report. I'll go ahead and execute a scenario from my project Let's run this one, all data table. Once the test is done, then we'll find the LEO result folder generated in our project bin folder. You can see the test execution is completed. Now let's go to the project bin folder. So by default, LEO results are going to generate in the bin folder of your project. So here, if I go inside the bin folder, then debug and then the dotnet 8.0 because i'm using the dotnet 8.0 version then here you will find a folder called leo results that's where leo saves raw json files with all the test execution data now the next thing is to turn these json file into a readable html report so to do that let me open a command prompt or terminal in the project directory. After that, I'm going to run the command called LAOR generate followed by the LAOR result folder. This creates a new folder called LAOR report with static HTML files that you can archive or host anywhere. Now I'll move to the folder and then I'm going to open this report HTML file. Let's look at the test result now. Here we can see the two tests got executed. It looks like some test was also selected when I executed the test. So we have two tests got executed. One is broken and another one is passed. So if I go to the first test, so we can see in the details that the step is not implemented. So if a step is not implemented, LUR marks that scenario as broken. You will clearly see the unimplemented step in its location in the feature file. On the other hand, fully implemented and passing scenarios will appear with green status and captured step-by-step -step logs. If you are using data tables in your Ragnarol test, 
and layer automatically attaches the table content under each step. Super helpful for debugging. So this is how you can generate your HTML report using the Allure framework. Now, by default, the Allure results are getting generated under the bin folder of your project. If you want to specify the directory where you want to generate the Allure result file, then we have the customization option available. So now let's customize where Allure saves its result file. By default, it goes into the bin folder, but if you want more control over your directory structure, you can do this. So for that, what you need to do, you need to copy the file called allureconfig.json into the root directory of your project. This is the allureconfig.json content. Here in this file, we have to change the result directory here. So I'm going to change the result directory as the root location of this project. You can provide any directory where you want to generate the LEO results. I'll add this template JSON file into my GitHub repository so that you can download it from there. Now I'm going to run my test again. You'll see the custom result folder get generated at the root of your project with all LEO results files. Now, to generate the report, again, you can go to the command prompt, and then you can type the command LAO generate, followed by your LAO results folder, which contains the raw JSON files. There are more advanced settings in the LAO config.json file, such as custom environment variables, report title, categories for flaky or known issues, and much more. We'll explore these in the upcoming videos, so make sure to subscribe if you are interested in taking your test reporting to the next level. So that's it. You have now learned how to install and configure Allure with Ragnarol, generate test execution reports, customize output directories. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Leave your questions and suggestions in the comments. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.